G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this episode where we're going to take a look at a relatively new feature uh, inside of, of SharePoint and OneDrive that gives you the ability to uh, add a shortcut from a SharePoint document library and make that available in your OneDrive for business. Now we all know that OneDrive uh, is the app for all of your files and now using this functionality it's going to even take that a little bit of a step further. So we can have as part of the OneDrive uh, application, either in the browser or on your synced uh, location on your computer, you can have access to these SharePoint locations now. So let's jump in and have a look at what I'm talking about. So we can see here, uh, I'm in uh, Megan's OneDrive. I've got all the OneDrives here, okay? Uh, all the, the content of my OneDrive. Now, if I also have a look now at my synced uh, location, so I can have a look here, OneDrive for Business, uh, Contoso there is synced to my computer. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to jump into a SharePoint site. So I'm gonna jump into the Mark 8 project team. This is a SharePoint site. And left-hand side, I've got my document library that's part of this project. Now you can see here there's a number of uh, folders here. Now coincidentally, this is part of a Microsoft team. So these folders are actually associated to channels. Now, the folder that I'm interested in here is the go to market plan. So you can see here there's a number of different documents in here. But what I wanna do is I wanna make those accessible to me via my OneDrive for Business. So I don't have to think about where to go. I can just go to my OneDrive and there I've got my go to market plan files as well that's part of this project team. So let's have a look. Flick back to documents. I'm just going to select this folder here. And what you can see here is I've got another little icon here, all right? And I can add a shortcut to OneDrive. Or I've got the option here uh, in the command bar at the top. Let's click that add shortcut to OneDrive. You can see on the right hand side that it's now been added to my OneDrive. If I now jump back into my OneDrive here, I'm just gonna refresh this page. And what will appear here is the go to market plan folder. Now you can see that the, it's, it's see who it's been shared by the Mark 8 project team. But when I click this, I'm staying within OneDrive, but what I'm seeing now is the files of that document library in the SharePoint site directly from my OneDrive for business. Now, if I also now open up my sync location, you can see here that I've got a folder, go to market plan, I open it, and there's all my documents from that SharePoint location. So that's part of a, a team site. Now, the other situation that could be uh, this could be used for is that now I'm on my intranet site. So I'm in a policies and procedures um, library here, and I can do exactly the same thing. All right, so I can click add shortcut to OneDrive. It's gonna add this shortcut to OneDrive. I've now got policies and procedures dash about us. Now let's have a look at our OneDrive for business. Let's just refresh this. And now we can see here that I've got policies and procedures inside my document library here too. Now, what you'll also notice is that I've got the metadata that's associated to that library that's come through here too. So I can now filter and sort and uh, do what I need to do with the metadata directly from the OneDrive for Business browser experience here too. Now, let's jump into the sync location. You can see here that I've now got this policies and procedures folder in my OneDrive sync location. I can click this, I can open this file now, and it's gonna open up in uh, Microsoft Word, and I can now interact with that, uh, that document. Now, one thing to note here that I just wanna to bring to your attention too is that um, you can actually adjust the metadata that is in the SharePoint library from within the Word client. So I'm in the document, I've opened it up, I click on the share, under the view tab here, I've got the option to have a look at the SharePoint properties. You'll see on the right hand side here that I've got the actual metadata or the site columns that are associated to that library. So let's say I wanna change the business area of this document and the tag here. So I'm just gonna change that to HR. I'm gonna select that and I'll click OK. I might wanna change the office location as well. Let's change that to London and we'll scroll across here and we'll click OK. We're automatically saving this document here because auto save is on. Once that's saved, it's then going to sync back up to the SharePoint document library and that metadata will also be changed in that document library as well. So we'll just wait for that to save. 
we will jump back into the, uh, the SharePoint library and we'll take a look at how that metadata has changed as well. Okay, so that's now saved. We've given it a little bit of time just to sync uh, as well. Now let's jump into uh, the OneDrive for Business uh, browser client here and we'll open up policies and procedures. We've got this file here and you can see that the business area is changed to HR and the office location is changed to Paris. So you can also adjust the SharePoint metadata from those synced locations as well. So this, the ability here now to be able to add a shortcut to your OneDrive for Business really does mean that OneDrive for Business does become uh, the, the, the only app that you may require to access your files. So I hope that brings you some value today and I'll see you in the next episode.